guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be sharing a first impressions on some of the new things at the drugstore so this one this video is going to be on the new L'Oreal infallible line they came out with a new foundation and a conceal and contouring kit I'm going to be showing you guys both in a demo how these work and also giving you guys my review on them so this is the new L'Oreal infallible total cover out full coverage foundation and it's supposed to last 24 hours finish is natural it wears up to 24 hours high coverage and air light texture so the foundation I picked up at Bed Bath & Beyond and it retailed for $11.99 a picture of the display right here so this was $11.99 and the, the conceal and contouring infallible total cover this one was $13.99 pro tip use individually or blend and customize like a pro it shows you where to conceal and where to contour it comes with three lighter shades and one dark one I'm not completely sure if this is the only color that it comes in I seen this one I didn't see any other ones on display it was this one and then they had the color correcting one which was a bunch of different colors but I didn't grab that one just grab this one to see how the formula is um, so this one comes with four different colors and then it comes with this little sponge I did not use this in the video it's very odd I feel like they should have just added a darker shade here instead of using this for a little sponge but I guess if you're on the go and you need it it's there for you so we're just gonna get right into the demo and then I will share my review at the end okay to start off I already have my um, primer and I already moisturized it and everything so I'm using the benefit professional as my primer we are gonna take the concealing and contouring kit it says it's in 220 I don't know if there's other options it comes with this tiny little sponge thing which I'm probably not going to use. These lighter shades literally look the exact same to me. So I'm just going to take the middle one then. I'm going to apply it with a brush. Oh, It's not bad. It's not dry. I was expecting it to be drier than this. Like having, I, w I was expecting to have to use a beauty oil to mix in to kind of get it. I'm going to blend it with the beauty blender. not bad on coverage it's not like a complete full coverage but i feel like it's kind of hard to get complete full for this kind of product anyways some to cover my blemish my blemishes so not 100 percent. you can still see a little bit but very good i'll take my finger and do this other side with my finger i'm getting a lot more coverage for sure It's actually really smooth. I'm gonna take this third color right here and kind of use that. With some redness on my nose. Not 100%, but definitely doing the job. And then this contouring shade, like there's only one. So I don't really understand how it's like a contouring and concealing. There's only one contour shade. I feel like they could have used another shade right here instead of putting that little sponge. We'll go on to the foundation. So I grabbed the Infallible Total Cover 24 Hour in 307 Sand Beige. My usual color in Infallible is number 8, Sun Beige. This is Sand Beige. I'm hoping there's not too big of a difference. I will insert a picture of what the display looked like. There's literally no colors. It was either really really pale or really really dark all of the middle shades were taken in between i was shook i'm gonna hope and pray this is not too big of a difference it's a very very small squeezy tube Ooh, it looks kind of moosey when it comes out all right so this is this is how much product i was able to squeeze out it definitely feels moosey out This is how I usually apply my infallible foundations with my finger. I usually dot it on, but since this one's more full coverage, I feel like I have to kind of work it into the skin, especially because it feels so moussey instead of liquidy. This is definitely lighter. So if they had 308, it definitely would have fit better for me. This is kind of more flat. I feel like 308 is a little bit more warm, which is makes sense because it's sun beige instead of sand beige 
I didn't put any on my forehead. Coverage wise, like after I put the concealer in, you cannot see my blemish. You can see the texture that is my blemish, but you can't actually see it. So it definitely is really, really full coverage. And this is me applying it with my finger and then blending out with a beauty blender. I'm gonna take a little bit more. Dot, just dot it on, just a tiny bit more. So just like an extra little dot. I'm gonna dot it on and then I'm gonna use the thick foundation brush. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that right now. I don't like the way the brush did it. I feel like the brush kind of ate too much product. The Beauty Blender definitely takes some of the full coverageness away. I feel like if you were to apply it solely with your fingers, you'd get a lot more. But yeah, I feel like this side is definitely more full coverage than this side. I feel like I can see through to my skin. So I'm gonna take some more and I'm going to apply it. How we did the other side with my finger. I'm gonna spread it out with my finger first and then use the Beauty Blender. All right, right now I look super pale, especially considering my arm. So that is a thing. This color is definitely not my color, but put some powder and everything and it should look fine. I didn't put too much on my forehead, so my forehead I can still see through because I don't have like blemishes or anything on my forehead, just my cheek. And it seems to cover it up really, really good. It's definitely a completely different consistency from both of the Infallible Pro Go and Pro Glow and Pro Matte. Really different. Like, I don't even know what to compare it to, really. I think it's probably close to, like, kind of a whipped foundation for the most part. The packaging is completely different. It's a natural finish. It is a 24-hour wear, high coverage, and air light texture. It definitely does feel very light. Like, it kind of feels like I already put powder on. It says it's a pro face and body foundation, ultra lightweight, seamless coverage. Use everywhere, face, neck, arms, legs to cover imperfections and uneven skin tones. So as far as all of the claims, it seems pretty spot on. I think I'll add a little bit more concealer. I'll try to, I just totally dug my finger in there, no. Okay, I'm gonna try to take what I would assume is the lightest color, the first color, since I used both of the other colors. Kind of use that to brighten up the under eyes. I feel like I could have done it better if I put a little bit of beauty oil in that one. This one seems to be a little bit drier. I'm gonna take a little bit of that dark this shade and see if I can use it to kind of contour a little bit. No, it's definitely too light for me to contour. It's more gonna bronze, if anything, especially because this tone of it is a lot more warm and orangey than a contour shade should be. It's still very, very creamy, so if you want to use it to kind of warm up the face, if anything, then contour, it seems like it'll do its job. So this is what it looks like, kind of blended in. Like I said, definitely more of a, a cream bronzer than a contour, but still very nice. Let me see how it compares to the tart one. This little tart contour stick. This is this right here, and then this is the shade from the palette. Definitely lighter and warm, more brown than anything. But I'm going to use that as a base, and then I will put some contouring powder and kind of powder everything up. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the demo. My first impression of the foundation is that it does everything that it claims. It is very, very full coverage. It has a moussey texture to it, like I said in the demo. And it does feel very light on the skin. It, I already powdered and everything, but even before I powdered, it already felt powdered. This one is a little bit too light for me, so I would get one shade up, which is Sun Beige, which tends to match me throughout the um, infallible line so I need to pick that one up but I definitely do recommend in my first impressions I'm not sure if it does last the full 24 hours but for the finish being a natural the 
coverage being high and the texture being air light, I could vouch for those three claims being true. I'm sure it's just as long wearing as the other one. Songji powder I do recommend and for $11.99 this seems like a really really good foundation. As far as the conceal and correcting palette, I think it is nice from the drugstore. It has a better consistency than the NYX correcting and contouring palette, the little square one. That one I find to be very, very thick and kind of harder to blend. I do like that one. It does cover really well, but I feel like it's a little bit thick. This one definitely feels a lot lighter, but it does give you enough coverage. I didn't put any additional concealer on or anything like that. It's just this alone. As far as it being a contour, palette I don't recommend if you're looking for something that's a contour one I would definitely lean you towards more the Anastasia one because that one has a lot more darker contour shades you can use for this one it just comes with one darker shade and that's it and it's more of a bronzer like I said in the demo so I don't recommend it for that but if you're on the hunt for a good concealing palette from the drugstore this is $13.99 so yeah that is the end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys are interested in to learn more about the infallible line I do have two other videos on the pro glow and the pro matte that I will link down below thank you guys again for watching and I will talk to you guys next time